I'd like you to think back to a time where you were with a bunch of friends and you all decided you wanted to play a game of hockey or basketball or soccer or baseball, some team sport. The very first thing you had to do was you had to break up into teams. And to do so, you had to do some math, whether you liked it or not. You had to do math and it was division. That's what you were doing. You were doing division because you were breaking up into groups. And this strategy I'm going to show you in this video is called division by grouping. It's another one of the strategies that you can use to solve any division equation. However, this is more applicable to splitting up into groups. So you might have looked like these angry birds when you were with your friends. And you, wanted to, you wanted to compete against each other. Here we have, it says right here, it says the angry bird characters wanted to have a game of soccer. You can see by their soccer faces that they're very excited to get started. It says put them into groups of three. Here's what a group of three looks like. One, two, three. They, they're a group. They're a team. Another word, another way of saying groups is teams. You could say put them into teams of three. Here's another team of three. Okay. Now it says how many teams are made. And we have two teams. Okay. Now the second part says put them into groups of two. Now if it, that's what it says, we have to go like this. We have to go groups of two, groups of two. And now how many teams are made? We have three teams. This strategy is a little bit different than the sharing strategy because the sharing strategy already decided how many teams you needed to make. Okay, if you think back, groups are teams. So um, go back to that video and you'll see there's a slight difference in the way that it's set up. Here we have a question that was in the sharing video and I'm going to show you the difference in solving it using the grouping method. Now what do we have here? We have basketballs and we have baskets. Now we know that the basketballs go into the baskets so we're going to need 10 basketballs because we're going to have to split them up. And we don't really split baskets up, we split basketballs up and we put them in the baskets. So look, we're going to take 10 of them. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are our shareable items. The first number has to be shareable. So we're going to be sharing basketballs. And once we share them, we'll put them into baskets. Now look what we have to do. Divide by five using the grouping method. We're going to need groups of five. Let me write that down. We need groups, groups of five. That's the grouping method. So we're going to need a group of five. So we're going to go like this. We're going to need a group of five here. Three, four, five. We're going to need a group of five over here. And if you did it, it should work out so that there's nothing left over. So we're going to have a group over here. We're going to have a group over there. The answer is going to be, here, let's put these in baskets. Put these in here. And we'll put this in that one. The answer is going to be not five. Okay, don't be going like this. Don't write five. Because remember, when you're going to check this with multiplication, think, go back to the other videos. You'll see what I'm talking about when I say check with multiplication. You go five times five, you don't get 10, you get 25. Five groups of five are 25. So it, it, of course it's wrong. That's, that's definitely wrong. The answer is how many groups you have, how many teams you have. You have one over here and you got one over here. That's two. Now look, when you check it with times, you're going to get, you're going to times these two together. It's always the last two. You're going to go five times two and that makes 10 and 10 matches that number. We did it correctly. That's what that, that's what that means. Now we have this one here. We have, we have these people. We have these guys in suits, and for some reason they want to ride in boats. So we're going to set these boats up for them, and we're going to go like this. We have twelve, so we're going to take twelve people. We're going to take him, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to need to put them into groups of three. So I'm going to write groups, groups of three. So that's easy enough. Here's a group of three guys. Here's another group of three guys. They'll get their own boat. Here's another group of three guys. One, two, three. And we'll put our last group on the bottom. Group of three. By the way, never go in a boat in your suit. It's not a good idea. We'll give this guy, these guys get this boat. They get here. They get a boat. They get a boat. Now our answer is going to be what? It's going to be how many teams we made, how many groups we made. We have one group here. We have another group here, another one here, and another one there. So we have four. Check your answer using multiplication. 
Okay, remember we got a, oops, we don't want that shape. We want this one. We want to cover this up. And then look at the last two numbers and multiply them. So that's called checking with multiplication. You've got three groups of four is 12. And then when you look at this, 12 matches here. They, they match, so we did it correctly. Now this one here, this is the, a challenging one. Use the grouping strategy to write the division equation for this illustration. Check your answer using multiplication. Now the first number in division always stands for how many shareable items that we have. Now in this case, what do we have? Well, we're sharing people, right? We're going to be talking about how many people we have. Two here, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten people. Now, the grouping method means what do they put into? Groups of what? Now, they're in groups of two, right? This is a group of two, a group of two, a group of two, a group of two, and a group of two. So we're putting them to groups of two. And the answer is we have one, two, three, four, with five groups all together, or five teams. And that's going to be our answer. Check it with multiplication. You take these two numbers, you times them together, multiply them, you get two groups of five. Two times five is ten. 10 and 10. They match, so we did it properly. Now it's your turn. Go ahead, try this question here. I got four of them. Using the grouping method, go ahead, pause the video, and come back in a moment and check your answer. Assuming you did that, 10 divided by 2, what you have to do here is show me 10 things first. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the beginner level. I, I recommend you all start this way. Now, you're going to put them into groups of two. So you can take, let's, let's, uh, let's unjoin them. So we're going to take these here, put them in a group of two. Take these guys here, put them in a team. Take him with him. Take this one with that one. And put these two in a team. And then we can, just to be cute, we can circle them. Looks like eyeballs. No mouths. And you get one, two, three, four, five. We're going to put equals five. Check your answer. Two times five is ten. And that says ten, so it works. Eighteen divided by six. Let's do that. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 all together. We're going to put them into groups of six. Yeah, that's big groups here. We're talking big groups. So let's do it. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. They're a group. They're a team. We're going to put him with him. Three, four, five, six. And then these six here are going to be their own team. And again, we're going to be showing that they are teams. We're going to put them in groups like that. We're going to go one, two, three of them. So that means the answer is three. Check your answer. Six times three, 18. Way to go. 20 divided by four. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. Same strategy, but I'm going to go like this. I'm going to, I know I got to put groups of four, teams of four. So I'm going to go, well, here's a team of four. 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 Now look, I've got four, eight, 12, 16, and four more makes 20. That's all I need. I'm, I can't go past 20. So now I've got one, two, three, four. I got five. So I'm gonna put five as my answer, and four times five is 20, so it's correct. 15 divided by three. I'm gonna do the same as the way I did the last one. I'm gonna go, here's a team of three their group let's change it up make them red their group and i've got a team of three here their group a team of three a team of three how many do i have a three six nine twelve and three more here let's move it uh down here because i'm gonna need to put my answer there so i'm gonna team here and i've got three six nine twelve fifteen i stop that's all i'm allowed fifteen all together divided by three so now look how much i have of one team two, three, four. I've got five teams. And that's my answer. Last question. Use the grouping strategy to write the division equation for this illustration. Check your answer using multiplication. Go ahead and try it. All right. First thing you're going to write, we have four, eight, 12 stars. So you have to write that number first. You have to write 12. 
groups of what? What are these stars put into? What kind of groups? We have one, two, three, four. Groups of four. They're all in groups of four. How many teams do we have? We've got three. Right? One, two, three. Four times three makes 12. Four times three is 12. So we did it correctly. 12 matches 12. And that's it. That's the grouping strategy. A lot of people get confused between this strategy and the sharing strategy, but I'm, I promise you if you watch both videos and you practice, you're going to get better at it and you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. Good luck, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.